Welcome to Liturgy of the Hours with Deacon Kevin. This is a ministry of St. Joseph's Catholic Church in Jacksonville, Florida. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will proclaim your praise. The Lord is risen. Hallelujah. The Lord's is the earth and its fullness, the world and all its peoples. It is he who set it on the seas, on the waters he made it firm. Who shall climb the mountain of the Lord? Who shall stand in his holy place? The man with clean hands and pure heart, who desires not worthless things, who has not sworn so as to deceive his neighbor. He shall receive blessings from the Lord and reward from the God who saves us. Such are the men who seek him. Seek the face of the God of Jacob. O gates, lift high your heads, grow higher ancient doors. Let him enter the King of glory. Who is the King of glory? The Lord, the mighty, the valiant, the Lord, the valiant in war. O gates, lift high your heads, grow higher ancient doors. Let him enter the King of glory. Who is he, the King of glory? He is the Lord of armies. He is the King of glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord is risen. Hallelujah. We turn to you, O God of every nation, giver of life and origin of good. Your love is at the heart of all creation. Your hurt is people's broken brotherhood. We turn to you that we may be forgiven for crucifying Christ on earth again. We know that we have never wholly striven, forgetting self to love the other man. Free every heart from pride and self-reliance, our ways of thought inspire with simple grace. Bring down among us barriers of defiance. Speak to the soul of all the human race. Teach us, good Lord, to serve the need of others. Help us to give and not to count the cost. Unite us all, for we are born as brothers. Defeat our Babel with your Pentecost. Have courage, my son. Your sins are forgiven. Alleluia. Have mercy on me, God, in your kindness. In your compassion, blot out my offense. O oh, wash me more and more from my guilt and cleanse me from my sin. My offenses, truly, I know them. My sin is always before me. Against you, you alone, have I sinned. What is evil in your sight? I have done. That you may be justified when you do give sentence and be without reproach when you judge. O oh, see, in guilt I was born a sinner, was I conceived. Indeed, you love truth in the heart. Then in the secret of my heart, touch me, teach me wisdom. O purify me, then I shall be clean. O wash me, I shall be whiter than snow. Make me hear rejoicing and gladness that the bones you have crushed may revive. From my sins, turn away your face and blot out all my guilt. A pure heart create for me, O God. Put a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, nor deprive me of your Holy Spirit. Give me again the joy of your help. With a spirit of fervor, sustain me, that I may teach transgressors your ways, and sinners may return to you. O oh, rescue me, God, my helper, and my tongue shall ring out your goodness. O oh, Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. For in sacrifice you take no delight. Burnt offering from me you would refuse. My sacrifice, a contrite spirit, a humbled, contrite heart, you will not spurn. In your goodness show favor to Zion. Rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will be pleased with lawful sacrifice, holocaust offered on your altar. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Father, he who knew no sin was made sin for us, 
to save us and restore us to your friendship. Look upon our contrite heart and afflicted spirit and heal our troubled conscience so that in the joy and strength of the Holy Spirit we may proclaim your praise and your glory before all the nations. Have courage, my son. Your sins are forgiven. Alleluia. You go forth to save your people, to save your anointed one. Alleluia. O Lord, I have heard your renown and feared, O Lord, your work. In the course of the years, revive it. In the course of the years, make it known. In your wrath, remember compassion. God comes from Teman, the Holy One from Mount Paran. Covered are the heavens with his glory and with his praise the earth is filled. His splendor spreads like the light. Rays shine forth from beside him where his power is concealed. You come forth to save your people, to save your anointed one. You tread the sea with your steeds amid the churning of the deep waters. I hear and my body trembles. At the sound, my lips quiver. Decay invades my bones. My legs tremble beneath me. I await the day of distress that will come upon the people who attack us. For though the fig tree blossom not, nor fruit be on the vines, though the yield of the olive fail, and the terraces produce no nourishment, though the flocks disappear from the fold, and there be no herd in the stalls, Yet will I rejoice in the Lord and exult in my saving God. God, my God, is my strength. He makes my feet swift as those of hinds and enables me to go upon the heights. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. You go forth to save your people, to save your anointed one. Alleluia. Zion, give praise to your God. He has brought peace to your borders. Alleluia. Oh, praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Zion, praise your God. He has strengthened the bars of your gates. He has blessed the children within you. He established peace on your borders. He feeds you with finest wheat. He sends out his word to the earth and swiftly runs his command. He showers down snow white as wool. He scatters hoarfrost like ashes. He hurls down hailstones like crumbs. The waters are frozen at his touch. He sends forth the word and it melts them. At the breath of his mouth the waters flow. He makes his word known to Jacob, to Israel his laws and decrees. He has not dealt with other nations. He has not taught them his decrees. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, you established peace within the borders of Jerusalem. Give the fullness of peace now to your faithful people. May peace rule us in this life and possess us in eternal life. You are about to fill us with the best of wheat, Grant that what we see dimly now is in a mirror. We may come to perceive clearly in the brightness of your truth. Zion, give praise to your God. He has brought peace to your borders. Alleluia. A reading from Acts chapter 5. The God of our fathers has raised up Jesus, whom you put to death, hanging him on a tree. He whom God had, has exalted at his right hand as ruler and savior is to bring repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. We testify to this. So too does the Holy Spirit whom God has given to those that obey him. The Lord is risen from the tomb. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord is risen from the tomb. Alleluia, alleluia. He hung upon the cross for us. Alleluia, alleluia. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. The Lord is risen from the tomb. Alleluia, alleluia. 
Because he suffered death, we see Jesus crowned with glory and honor. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, and holy and righteous in his sights all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Because he suffered death, we see Jesus crowned with glory and honor. Alleluia. God the Father raised up Christ through the Spirit, and will also raise up our mortal bodies. Let us cry out to him, Lord, raise us to life through your Holy Spirit. All Holy Father, you accepted the holocaust of your Son in raising him from the dead. Accept the offering we, might, we make today and lead us to eternal life. Look with favor on all we do today, that it may be for your glory and the sanctification of the world. May our work today not be in vain, but for the good of the whole world, and through it lead us to your kingdom. Open our eyes today to recognize our brothers and sisters and our hearts to love them so that we may love and serve each other. Now let us offer the prayer Christ has given us as the model of all prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer, that your gospel may reach all men, and that we, who receive salvation through your word, may be your children in deed as well as in name. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.